up guys welcome to the being beautifully honest podcast and channel thanks for being here being subbed if you're not hit the button and if you're listening on youtube hit the like it's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch let's brighten up the place and get into this conversation so listen i i saw this story and i i really wasn't even going to talk about it but i just have a few things to say about this because here's the thing I heard that Cardi B was threatening to sue the vlogger Storm Monroe for saying some things that she is alleging are not true. Now, what I believe happened is he did a video and was insinuating that Cardi B and her current mother-in-law, possibly soon to be ex-mother-in-law, if she does move forward with the divorce and it becomes final, were in a physical altercation in her home in Georgia. Now, whether that happened or not, I don't know, but apparently she's saying that he alleged it, it didn't happen, and now she wants to come for the coins. This is what I just want to say about this, because I know that he used to be the mentee of Tasha K. He has definitely grown his subscriber base and his money and all of that stuff by being attached to Tasha K for some time and then they no longer were attached. So I don't know if she feels like this is something that she needs to do because he used to be attached to or affiliated with Tasha K. But I I honestly am sorry to hear that she is even addressing him with this. Now, while I will say that no, it's not cool for him to just say outright blatant lies about her if that indeed is a lie. I don't know. But she still hasn't gotten what she has quote unquote won in the courts going after Tasha K for what in my personal opinion was something that could have been squashed. And I know some people are like, well, yeah, well, Tasha K, if she had done this and that and the other, A, B, and C, then it wouldn't have gotten to that point. But like I've said over and over again, myself being someone who was in the legal field for 12 years, I am no longer in it and I'm not proclaiming to be this legal expert. But what I will say is one, from my legal experience and two, also being a business owner, yes, companies, they do sometimes do sue people. We know that creditors, they sue the consumers a lot when they have unpaid debts and things like that. But even in those situations, it's rare. When it does happen, they usually can squash it, settle it out of court. And even if they do get a judgment, it's usually going to be like, well, yeah, what are you going to really get? So, you know, companies rarely sue people. People usually sue companies because it's the bigger gain. When a company sues an individual, or even a company sues what, you know, if we want to say Tasha K has her company, and I get that, but what I mean by that is Cardi B, she was the one that had the bigger coin, the bigger name, honestly, the bigger favor with the courts, because even though some people feel like, well, Tasha, what Tasha K did was wrong, she honestly already had a target on her where she was more than likely not going to be able to win it based on her own representation because I don't believe that she had the best representation. I already spoke about that before and I'm not going to really get into all of that again. But yeah, Cardi B had more money so she was able to have a legal team versus Tasha K's lawyer and the lawyer that she had was not the best representation. If Cardi B had people that were really looking out for her, the legal team, they wouldn't have allowed it to even get this far because she's paying them whether Cardi B gets the money or not. So it was the bigger gain for Cardi B's legal team versus Cardi B because yes, she has the paper judgment, but she still doesn't have the paper (laughs) that she quote unquote won in the court. And two, I will still stand on this while albeit it was about claims of a, you know, an uncurable disease, possibly her having it or not. My personal opinion is I feel that 
Cardi B really went after Tasha K more so because Tasha K had a lot of receipts, credible information about females that were messing with her husband. And even Cardi B recently came out to say how she really gave it her all, but she had tried her best, but he just continuously was disrespecting her and the marriage over and over again. It was something that was consistent by even Cardi B before was coming out and denying the rumors because it was making her look a certain type of way and she didn't like to look that way that was being presented, that her husband was making her look like. So I felt like it was more so about that versus the the STD situation. But I digress. Tasha K is still operating her business She's actually doing bigger and better. She has way more subscribers now than she did before that. Yeah, she lost some, but she gained a whole lot more. She is doing her thing in business and she's not allowing that to stop her. And actually, I'm happy that she is not allowing that to destroy her because a loss in court doesn't, unless she took someone's life, I don't believe that it's okay for people to feel like she should lose her life. She said she learned the lessons from it. She's moving on and she absolutely is doing that. So if she hasn't gotten the paper from Tasha K that she won in court, I don't know why she would waste her time going after Storm Monroe. My personal opinions, I feel like she really, I'm not, again, not saying that it's okay for people to put stories out there about her that are not true, but to deal with the court situation again, when these attorneys that she had were sitting are sitting there pretty much rubbing her palms together because that's going to be another probably another law firm that they're going to be able to establish and open I'm telling you I know all too well about this stuff I was in the legal field for 12 years I've seen how these attorneys come up and they are able to build other practices hire more attorneys invest in other properties all of the different things that they do And Cardi B is something that is going to be beneficial for them because she's going to be paying them whether she gets paid by the win that she receives in court or not. So I would just say, Cardi B, don't waste your time and your money. You're pregnant. You're going through a divorce. We don't know if it's going to go to the final stages or not. But I can only imagine being pregnant by a eight-ish dude is not the most pleasant situation to be in. I wouldn't waste my time going after Storm and Roll in court to get a judgment and not even be able to collect on what you are ordered to be able to receive. So when I heard that, I was just like, oh my God, Cardi B, please save your time and money. It's not worth it. Cardi B has millions upon millions of subscribers. I honestly wouldn't have even known about this had the story not been propelled because she made a statement about this. If she didn't talk about it, because I don't follow Star Monroe, I wouldn't have even known about it. I wouldn't have even known about this alleged story about, you know, a possible altercation between her and her mother-in-law. But if you know it's not true and you know it's not real and it's not like really hurting you don't waste your time your money and your energy going after this vlogger i mean just just pay the little nominal fee to have the attorney send a cease and desist letter versus saying you're going to sue him because i'm quite sure for storm and roll that would that would suffice i don't think storm and roll would come out and say i don't care if you sent me a cease and desist i'm standing on what i said and i'm going to go ahead and report more i'm quite sure that would be enough to get him to be shaking in his boots and leaving it alone. So I don't know if she's going to move forward with it. It could have just been a threat to get him to shut up. But hopefully that's all it is and she's not going to proceed with it because, again, I don't have a dog in the fight, but I just don't feel that she should waste her time and money going after this vlogger in court because of something that was said. Send a cease and desist letter. Ask him to take the video down if he hasn't taken it down yet. He may have already. Who knows? knowing him I don't want to say knowing him because I don't know him but I'm just basically saying I don't think that he would be the type that just say well I'm standing on what I said and moving on and I'm going to keep it up 
So I think that would just be enough to just leave it at that. But if she goes after him and sues him, then that's just going to be on her. And she obviously just loves to waste money on attorneys. And I just don't think that's the best bet. Especially, I feel like she should have learned her lesson because a lot of people feel like, well, Tasha Gay, she should have learned from what she did. And I believe that she has. I 100% believe that she has. She said she's doing things differently in business. Her legal team is strong. She knows how she needs to speak about the stories that she shares and conveys and the ways that she conveys it. And her brand is who she is. Take it or leave it. People love her or hate her. She's not going to switch who she is for the sake of trying to make other people happy, but the way she conveys the stories or what stories she conveys or what information she sees as credible or sources or whatever and how she does that, she has her legal team and she's doing things the way that she knows legally she is able to do it moving forward because she said she's learned from the past situation. But I don't really hear a lot of people saying that Cardi B should have learned from that situation as well. Because honestly, to say that you're going to sue this blogger, to me, in my personal opinion, shows that she hasn't learned her lessons from that situation as well. Because the lessons weren't just for the person that she sued. I believe the lessons should also be for her, the plaintiff, the person threatening litigation, the person wanting to sue. So I just wanted to talk about that briefly, guys. It's not a whole lot that's involved in that. Again, I don't really care either way, but I just find it like, oh my God, seriously, you're still going to be doing stuff like this? Don't waste your time and money. Because if if anything, I'm actually looking out for her to say, don't waste your money. (laughs) Don't waste your money doing this because these attorneys would absolutely love nothing more than to get those billable hours out of you and having you pay them all that money for something that they already know, it's really not in the end going to work out for your best benefit. And any attorney that truly cared, which honestly a lot of them don't, but there are some that have hearts. Any attorney that really cared, they would let her know, girl, this ain't it. Just leave that alone. Just let us send us a, send out a little cease and desist letter and keep it moving. Worry about keeping that baby in... <laughs> you know, in utero until it's time for it to be delivered. Don't stress yourself out about this stuff. So guys, I just wanted to talk about that. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Don't want to talk, don't want to see, don't want to feel, hey.